My dear Emmett Till, of all the tragedies of your story, perhaps the saddest is that you never got the chance to do what normal kids do. In a frightening flash, you went from Chicago teenager to global icon of the civil rights movement. And as much as my son had to die, I don't want his death to be a vain thing. If it can further the cause of freedom, then I will say that he died a hero. Emmett Till's death was chilling, but it also inspired many black people, including Rosa Parks a few months later when she sat on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama and said, Emmett Till was on my mind. The emotional transformation came out of Emmett Till's lynching. So really you have Thurgood Marshall, you have Rosa Parks, Dr. King, the uh, mass action. Across the period of the civil rights era, Emmett Till was a rallying cry. His murder remained a case of injustice, and people didn't want to wait around to be the next Emmett Till, and so they did something about it. I had come to see that Emmett had died for a reason. I had come to realize that we had to work together to turn the sacrifice of Emmett's life into some positive gain. She took her grieving into activism after the trial when she started going on the speaking circuit. She was willing to go anywhere at any time and speak to anybody, any crowd, any church, any union hall to tell the story of her son's lynching. And my greatest respects to you people that have come out here to see what we're talking about and see what we're doing and what we're trying to do. It was very dangerous because black activists at that time, and a woman too, speaking out, uh, going to the southern states or what have you, you never knew when someone was going to try to bring bodily harm to you or was going to try to steal you in the night and you never would be seen again. So that was great danger. I want you all to stand by me because it's going to be a fight. And if you will stand by me, I will stand by you because I am not afraid. And the thing was, she was a mother. She was not an activist. She was a mother. She was a mourning mother. And she decided that enough was enough. There was just too much sorrow for one person to endure, too much pain for one person to absorb, too much anger for one person to express. So the crowds helped me get through it. The son had been killed, a baby had been taken from her. My baby was taken from me. I mean, she felt good about it that she exposed it. She felt she had a big role in, in changing our minds about terror, about violence, about injustice, and she did. Then she also decided to become a teacher, and uh, that's why she always said, God took my only, but he gave me millions. She developed a group called the Emmett Till Players, and she would take these kids, and she taught them to do oratory speaking from Dr. King and various other people. If you want to say that I was a drum major, say that I was a drum major for justice. And then that gave them pride and made them feel like, okay, I can do this, I'm somebody. Something I feel like we do a lot as black people in America, we take that pain and figure out how can we turn this into something that's, that is life-changing, that will better the situation now. That came from the fight in Mrs. Mobley. That came from the warrior in her and her honoring her son. So far as healing the hurt is concerned, uh, I will never get over that. I will take that hurt to my grave. It has influenced everything I have done. There is some talk uh, in, um, by state officials that the case would be reopened. Mm -hmm. Would that please you? Is that what you want? Oh, yes. Yes, that would please me no end because uh, it, it would certainly, uh, along with the other cases that have been reopened, it would be sending out a message 
to everyone that truth crushed to earth will rise again. You don't escape the evil you've done. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.